Alright guys, how you doing? It's Rabir. I hope you're all good. So I've seen this product flying around loads on YouTube recently and I thought I'd give it a go myself. Moore, who I'm sure you all know who they are, they've been around for a long time, bringing out loads of quality, affordable uh, effects pedals. The one thing I do know about Moore is they always cram as much as possible into their pedals. They're always cram packed full of features, so I'm sure this is no exception. Uh, anyway, we're looking at the Moore Preamp Live, which you might have seen. Essentially, it's a collection of the 12 preamp pedals, the mini preamp pedals they've released uh, in one box. So you've got three banks and there's four preamps per bank. Loads of features, so we'll get into it now. If you look on the close-up cam, you can see we've got volume, bass, middle, treble, gain and boost. Uh, so how, how the boost works is, so at the minute we're on this patch, if I press it down, it goes red, which means you're into the boost mode. And you can see here you've got po uh, pre and post and how you access that is by simply pushing down and it switches between the two. So the boost in pre means uh, like it's a gain boost, it's tighter, you know, like a tube screen would be in front of an amp. And then in post, it's like uh, putting it in an effects return. So it's it's like gonna give you a bigger volume boost, allow you to do like a solo boost, for example. So that's kind of cool because you can set it like that and then it will always remember it when you go back in, for example, it stays. So that's really cool. Um, anyway. So apart from that, you've also got a cab simulator that's built in um, and there's loads of different cab impulses because this uh, Preamp Live, along with other Mirror products, comes with a software interface that you can control. There should be a screen grab I will do just in my left here. Uh, and you can access different mics and different uh, mic from positions and different speakers and stuff. So that's really cool. Um, and also it's got an XLR or a jack output. And then of course MIDI in and out, so you can control this thing with MIDI. And then the master section, obviously master volume and presence. So if that wasn't enough, not only can you, you know, use this, and to be fair, the way I've hooked this up is going into the effects return of my Kraken into my two notes, uh, like a like a real preamp. So you're gonna hear it, you know, if it was being powered by what 6L6 valves. But anyway, the main thing that I think is really exciting about this is the tone capture feature. So what the tone capture does is it allows you to hook your amplifier up to this and essentially capture the, the essence of your amplifier. So it's not like profiling does with Kemper, but what it does do is it sort of, you play through it and it kind of analyzes the gain stage of your amp by hooking it up through the front and then back out of the effects send into this amp, into the pedal. And it essentially, you know, captures the essence of your amp. We'll get into that later on. Uh, but what I wanted to do is just run through a few of the different preamp sounds so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm using my PRS for this video, um, and the way I've hooked the pedal up, as I said before, was into the effects return of my amp. So it's, I'm using the power section of my Kraken into the two notes. So uh, we're starting on bank one, preset one. Here we go. That sounds really good. Also, the reverb that you're hearing is from the Lexicon Reverb 224 plugin, um, which you, I will blend in and out intermittently, uh, in case you were wondering. Anyway, so that's the sound of the first uh, preset. Now I can press it and hit the boost. So that's currently in post, which, so it's much louder, but it's basically the same sound. But if I then press it into pre, it should be a gain boost. So that sounds great. Uh, let's back off a bit of bass, boost a bit of gain. Cool. Uh, and let's say I wanted to save this sound right now. Um, all I have to do is basically press and hold uh, and it flashes and that's how you do it. And also it remembers that I've engaged the boost. So if I move to preset two and then back to one, it's still red with the boost engaged. So really intuitive, I love that. Anyway, moving on, let's try this one. Ah! 
One thing I did forget to mention is that there is a built-in noise gate with this pedal uh, that you can have in pre or post as well. Uh, so before the amp or in the effects return so, uh, type of thing. And basically you press and hold the boost knob and it goes yellow and you can engage it and just, yeah, basically this is without the gate now. <laughs> Pretty fierce. Okay, preset three. Nice, clean, and I can add a little boost to that if I want. In pre. <laughs> to be fair, that's pretty loud. <laughs> anyway, moving on, preset four. Tons again, and to be fair, it sounds good. It really doesn't sound bad on any of these. They're all kind of convincing. And again, that's probably because I'm also blending it with a real power section, but it's it's a nice blend. So I'm really enjoying that. Moving on, uh, bank two. So just a quick one on that. If you want to move between banks, you have to hold like one and two to go to one, two and three to go to two, and three and four to go to four. And you can see the colors change. So that was our first bank. Moved on to bank number two. Preset one. Sounds great. Moving on. Preset them two. got a fuzzy nature to it that one digging it uh preset three i'm kind of really going through all these because there's 12 of course and i do want to get to the tone capture so i am racing through but it's just so you can hear them uh so yeah uh preset three bank two <laughs> It sounds really, really good. I'm so far. I'm impressed. Each preset sounds really ampy and nice. So I'm enjoying it. Right, preset four. Just great. <laughs> Killer. Really, really, really good. Okay, let's move on to uh, bank three, preset number one.
I'm just getting carried away playing because it sounds great. All right, preset number two, bank three. <laughs> really good i don't really have a bad thing to say so far i'm just enjoying tweaking it what you know sometimes pedals like this you know when they got loads of stuff that they do it can become a bit option paralysis but with this it's like each one's rewarding it's nice and there's tweakability in every area you know it might, some might need a bit less bass some might need a little bit more treble whatever it just sounds great <laughs> Bank three, preset three. It's rich, you know, let's pull out some mids. Great, it's really nice. Right, this is the last preset on uh, the Mirror Live preamp. great it's really really good and you know it's the same across the board when you've got control of the boost in pre and post and it does give you a noticeable volume boost or gain boost and each one's got its own character you know each of these are preamps that you can buy individually already but having it all laid out like this it makes things so enjoyable to tweak and you just skip through and tweak and as a traveling piece of kit this is so useful because of course you don't even need to use a real amp you can go straight into your computer or interface with the cab sim and just record how you want to record and and fine tweak everything as you go so it's it's really cool um anyway now we'll get onto the creme de la creme and that is the tone capture and i'm going to try and cra capture the essence of my vx kraken Cool, so now we're on to the final part, which is, for me, the most exciting, and that is the tone capture feature on the Mua Preamp Live. I'm gonna try and capture the essence of the Kraken and layer it over a preamp in here. Um, so I need to use four cable method. So how you do that is my guitar goes into the input, the effects send from the Mua Preamp Live goes to the input of the Kraken, the effects send from the Kraken goes to the return of the Preamp Live, and then the output of the Preamp Live goes to the return of the Kraken, so I can hear everything. And that's how you hook it up. So it's also worth saying that when you capture, you want to be uh, blending together two similar sounds. So, you know, the high gain on the Kraken mixed with this sound, which is bank two, preset three. <laughs> It's a little bit flubby in the low end. I want to tighten it up a bit with a bit of the gain from the crack and it's gain stage. So anyway, how I do it is I hold button one and four. So this is capture mode. Uh, as you can see, how it works is button one is the uh, source. So that's my preamp, which sounds like this. That's the preamp live. Then button two is the target, which is the preamp of my Kraken. So now I have to play uh, whilst it captures by pressing this button, then I play and then it an analyzes it and puts the two together. So here we go. 
Cool, so there's a bit of random noodling. So now when I press the capture, this is now the combination of the, of the two of them. That's much better, it's much tighter. This is the, this is the source. This is the target. And then this is the capture. To be fair, that is quite a ridiculous feature. Um, you can definitely hear how it's melded the two together. There's almost less gain than there was with the Kraken, but it's tight. It's taken the tightness and that sort of clarity and that ampy sound, for, uh, and then blended it with the preamp to give me that. So really, yeah, genuinely impressed by that. Um, so now how I activate it and keep it on my patch is you basically hit there, number four, and now it's active on the patch. So when I press one and four again, come out, it's still my tone capture. And the cool thing is I can now mess with the EQ and, and get it sounding exactly how I want. If I hit the boost on, I can use the boost as well. Wow, I'm, that's great. And the fact that you can then add more gain, add more bass, cut mid, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm genuinely gobsmacked with the quality of sound. And I'm not just saying that. And I know, you know, with sponsored videos, people sometimes question the, the integrity behind the words, but genuinely, when I saw this video flying around, I saw Ola England's uh, demo of it, and I was like, that sounds really good. So I wanted to try it and I'm not disappointed in the slightest. It does exactly what I hoped it was going to do. I mean, yeah, it sounds killer. Putting it through the effects return. So I'm using the power section of my Kraken really brought it to life. Obviously you can use this into an interface and travel with it and use it like that. But also having it with the amp. Yeah. What a killer combo. And then being able to capture the sound of the Kraken and it does sound like the Kraken. <laughs> The most impressive part about all this is that the preamp live costs around 400 quid and that's just stupid value for what you're getting. It's a road worthy piece of kit, it's easy to use, it's super flexible, you can put it into your computer and control the whole thing in there which I've got there and I've shown you a screen grab of. The fact you've got the balanced output, the XLR output, the effects loop, the effects blend, you've got phones in, USB, 12 preamps, tone capture, noise gate boost in pre or post, cab simulator, it just, it's just unreal. And I know I'm saying it, I'm getting excited, but yeah, what a ridiculously good quality product for the money. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed the way this beast sounds. I certainly have. Uh, if you like this video, let me know what you think in the comments section. I'll put links in the description box. Like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you all very soon.